Hi, good morning kids. Okay, so we meet again today, our online class, Learning English with me, Teacher Linda. Okay, what do you think I'm going to cover today? As usual, I'll definitely will touch on basic grammar because uh, today's topic, I heard this kind of um, uh, basic grammar mistakes every day in our conversation. So I'm trying my best to make uh, we look as and we sound as natural as we can in speaking English. Okay, so what's the topic today? Okay, we're going to learn about good versus bad with nouns. Okay, good versus bad with nouns. What are those? Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so let's see. What are those bad versus good with nouns? Okay, as, I, as far as I know, definitely, all of us are quite well versed on uncountable and countable nouns. Okay, so... Just bear in mind that when you are talking about uncountable nouns, please, please never add S. Okay? For example, salt, sugar, mm, like rice, there will be no S for those uncountable, uncountable nouns. Okay, same goes to the liquid. Okay, liquid also uh, uncountable nouns. So, um, for liquid like coffee, water, um, what else? Uh, um, milk, okay, anything related to liquid, those are uncountable and you shouldn't put any S. Okay, next, countable. Countable, definitely anything that we can count like dog, cat, Mm, books, okay, those that we can count. So very easy. I can do a massive list um, about countable and uncountable, but I know you can do that yourself. Okay, so too much and too many. Okay, when it comes to uncountable, we should use too much. Like, I had too much sugar yesterday. Okay, I had I put too much salt in my curry. Okay, those are the examples of using too much. Okay, same goes to too many. Too many, okay. But too many is for countable. There are too many books on my table. Okay, there are too many cats in front of my house. Okay, those are the examples of using too much and too many. But... Have you ever asked yourself when? When we're going to use this too? Well, yeah, you know that. Too much is uncountable. Too many is countable. But when it comes to bad versus good nouns, there will be a difference and a slight difference in the usage. Okay, let's see what are the differences okay see for example i give you examples of the words homework okay homework is homework a good or bad noun definitely we know that homework is a homework is good but your opinion do you love homework i believe as a student you hate homework so we can consider it as bad nouns so you can say oh, i have too many homework then you use too many for bad nouns okay like i have oh okay for example another example cookie uh, okay cookies everybody loves cookies right so it's considered as a good nouns but when we talk about I had, oh my God, there's uh, too much calorie in the cookie, uh, in a piece of cookies. So the calorie is 
the bad nouns. So we're using too much calorie. It's like something that we don't like, something that negative. So those are bad nouns. Okay, let's go to good nouns. Okay, something's very good, very friendly, something positive, something that we like. Okay, um, for examples, um, uh, what? Ah, okay, money. Everybody love money. Right? Okay, for example, you, s you check on your bank book. Like, have you ever say like, Oh, I have too much money. I have too much money. Never, right? I was, wow, I have a lot of money. So we're using a lot of. Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you. We're using a lot of. Again, I repeat, a lot of. We are using it for something that good or something you like, okay? Uh, good with nouns, okay? Uh, just now, I, uh, I mentioned about bad nouns. Okay, there are another examples of bad nouns. Again, people. People can be good for... You can like... You can, it can be that you like people or maybe you hate people. But in some situations, like uh, you're going... Okay, I'm going to the cinema. Oh, there's a lot, I know, there's a too many people there. Something that you don't like in that situation, too many people, crowded. So you use too many people, too many. Because people there is considered as bad with nouns. Okay, we go back to the a lot of. Something is very good, something you like. Okay, like just now I'm uh, giving you examples of money. Everyone loves money. Uh, or, okay. Wow, a lot of sweets in my fridge. Something that you like. Okay, sweet. Or, I have a lot of milk in my fridge. Something that you like. You like the milk. So, you can use a lot of for something that you consider as things you like. In that particular situation. Okay. So now. Can you understand. Bad versus good. With nouns. Okay. Again. Too much. Is for. Uncountable nouns. Too many. Is for. Countable nouns. Something you can count. Something that you can't count. And. When you want to. Relate with. Some some situations, particularly such situation that is bad or something that you don't prefer, you will use too much or too many for the nouns. But when it comes to something you like, you want to express that you like that uh, something related to the, those nouns in that particular situation, you use a lot of. Okay, done. I think you will definitely use it in a correct situation after this okay okay so i think i've already covered this topic about bad versus good with nouns all right and i've already revised it to you and i think that's all for today and please listen to the lesson properly make sure you understand it if you don't understand anything, please, you can always refer me. Please don't be hesitate. And till we meet again next lesson next week, inshallah. So I think mm, definitely I will provide you with uh, worksheets, okay, to test your understanding. All right. So again, take care, everybody. I uh, hope to see you again next week. Enjoy the lesson. Love English. Bye. Sign up to with love. Teacher Linda.